All right, it's Hallie with Dream Body Workouts, and I'm gonna show you guys a great snack that I personally love to eat, and I do almost every day, and that is fresh guac, guacamole. And pretty much all you really need is a large avocado, a Roma tomato, and I use red onion, just because I like lots of stuff on it. I use sea salt, black pepper, and cumin. I put the little bit of the free dry, freeze dried cilantro on top of my kind of like my pico, my onion and tomato. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to do it. Avocados are a really, really great fat for you. Don't be afraid of fat. This is a good fat. It's a healthy fat. It's good for you. This also, if you mash this up with sea salt and pepper, you use this as a spread on your sandwiches, so you don't need disgusting mayonnaise. I don't have mayonnaise in my house. I use avocados for my spreads. I even will use like a cheese, a you know, nice like herb cheese dip and use that as my spread. So what I did is I scooped out the avocado and now I'm just going to put a little bit of sea salt on it, a little bit of fresh, cracked pepper, and just a couple little sprinkles of cumin. You take your fork, and look how easy this is. Just to mash that up really quick. And it's so good. The chips that I use are these Tostitos Simply Naturals. These are the best chips for chips and guac with fresh pico on top. So you just stir that together. And if you don't like onion, don't put it on. That right there will taste fabulous. You can even, if you have lemons or limes, squeeze a little bit on that. So now what I do is I just take my red onion. And just cut it up really small. Every, I make chicken tacos, I make burritos. I love fresh Mexican food. So, and then I just put it on top of here. See what the color does? Even makes it look not much better. Then I take my tomato and then I cut it up. Remember, food should taste good so that you, but it should be good for you too. This doesn't take a lot of ingredients at all. So then I will just sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on that, pepper, and then a little bit of my freeze-dried cilantro that once moisture hits it, it's as if it's fresh. Open up this yummy bag of chips. Look at these chips. They're so good. These are the best chips. And that's your first guac. You, you can't do any better than that. Throw it on top of a burrito. Throw it on top of a taco. It's fabulous. That's how you make good guacamole. Alright, remember, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I will see you later.